What up, world? Nerdy Yellow Dude checking in, and we back with a Nerdy Yellow review. Let's get right to it, man. Oh, yeah, and it is opening day. It is opening day for them Guardians, man. Shout out to them Cleveland Guardians downtown, man. Let's get this win today. The city is, is, is going downtown. It's going downtown. The city came out for the Guardos, man. Cities came out for the Guardos. But back to it, man. 30 years ago. Gosh, damn, I'm getting old. <laughs> getting old, man. 30 years ago, man. A classic. The Sandlot was released, man. Dope movie. Directed by um by David Evans. Um, written by David Evans and Robert um Gunter. And listen. It's a classic. It's a classic. The movie took place in 1962 in um, San Andro Valley. Boy, Smalls. <laughs> Smalls, man. So so Smalls end up moving to um, San Fernando Valley with his mom and his new stepfather. And, you know, like, he wasn't really fitting in. You know, he was trying to find friends. And he ended up running into a group of little baseball kids. You know, they was they, they, they was pressuring him and messing with him at first. They weren't accepting him, you know. They weren't accepting him at first, you know. But they end up taking him under their wing. And it's just a dope movie, man. It's a dope movie. Yeah, everybody's seen it. When Ben... James Earl Jones, crazy self in there. You know, he's scary as hell. Simba. <laughs> Whatever movie he is, he's going to scare the shit out of you. Whatever movie he is, you know he's going to scare you. But the main part of the movie is they all let the sand lot playing some baseball. And they accidentally hit the ball in the neighbor's backyard. James Earl Jones, scary ass. And James Earl Jones had a big dog called the Beast, a big massive. I think it was an English massive. Yeah, I think it was an English massive. Big slobbery. Urgh, the Beast. So they end up hitting the ball back there. And I think Smalls was about to run over there and jump over and get the ball. But the Beast was back there. Hold on. Oh, I'm trying to, uh, I got to watch it because I'm trying to think, did he hit the ball over there first and he went and Smalls went and went home and grabbed a, um, a Babe Ruth. That's what it was about. It was about a Babe Ruth sign baseball. But anyway, the baseball, the Babe Ruth baseball ended up getting hit over the, the damn, to James Earl Jones' backyard. And once he, they, he told him who the who the ball, because Smalls, he ain't no real baseball head like these boys. You know what I'm saying? So once Smalls tell him who the ball, the autograph, the ball was signed by, they go crazy. Like, oh, shit, we got to get this ball back. It's signed by Babe Ruth. So the whole plot is them trying to get the ball back, and they scared and blah, blah, blah. If you haven't seen it, most likely you've seen it. But if you haven't seen it, it's definitely a good movie, man. Check it out. And, you know, for the ones that have seen it and you got your, your kids and youngsters, man, let them watch it, man. Let them watch it. Let them watch it. Shit, it might make them want to get into baseball if they ain't in baseball. You know what that baseball money like. Y'all know what that baseball money like. <laughs> for real. Y'all know what that baseball money like. But yeah, it's a classic, man. Shit. I had never seen the new ones. I never seen the new ones. I'm gonna go check them out because I heard it was a hype. I heard they weren't bad. I heard they wasn't bad. I heard the last one. Um, I don't know about two, but I heard the last one that came out in like um 2007. I think it was called the Sandlot. Heading home, I heard that was a good one. But I'm going to try to check out the new ones and see what they're about. See if it's the same storyline, different, what's going on. But 
That's it, man. Hollywood yelling. Checking out. Oh, yeah. And I rate this 100. <laughs> For real, man. I rate this 100, man. One of the best movies ever when it comes to sports and baseball. Checking out. Nerdy yellow dude. Checking out.